Hey, first off, just a few thoughts on the uh, the outing that you had on Tuesday. I know that had to be t uh, really, really exciting. The the speaker that you got to hear, and then and then the activity at the aquarium afterwards. Just you know, now that you've had a chance to assimilate that a little bit, you know, what was it like? What did it mean to you? What did you take from it? Uh, it was it was pretty mind-boggling, really. It was a very cool opportunity. Um, Louis Giglio has come out to a few of the matches, and he was the speaker for us, and. Uh, he, he had a really cool message just about imagining about our vision of what we want to do with this team and and he related it to what we want to do with with our lives after we're done at Georgia Tech and uh, I think that coincided with what Kenny tries to teach us here on the team you know he teaches us tennis and he wants us to be the best team we can be but he also wants us to grow as individuals and um, that that motivational speech I think it, it got the guys fired up and it got us thinking about you know being the best team we can be and about being the best people we can be. And, uh, afterwards, they tied it in with uh, a trip to the aquarium. We get to swim with some sharks and, and fish. That was a uh, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It was, it was pretty amazing. Had you, uh, had, is there anything you've ever done in your life uh, that would, you know, even remotely compare to, to that? I don't think so. For, for an afternoon going, Going right here, I don't think that that could ever be beaten. I mean, it's, it was just incredible. 30 minutes swimming around with with these unbelievable creatures that come from all over the world. Was, <laughs> can't really put words to it. It was it was awesome. Now Kenny said that you know can't touch them. You can't reach out and touch the the, the sharks in the tank. But did you uh, you know if they came up and bumped you, it wasn't a big deal. Did anything like that happen with you while you were in the tank? Uh, it, not really with me. I know some of the other guys got bumped. I think Guillermo got one of the whale sharks. So. <laughs> On a few occasions, I hit some of the smaller fish while I was trying to swim. I'd, I'd reach back and kind of catch them in the face, but uh, hopefully, I didn't do too much damage to them. Um, but it was the thing that was amazing to me was how calm I was once I got in the water. I didn't, you know, I had sharks swimming all around me. I didn't think twice about, you know, I just, I just felt safe. I don't know if it was being with the team or just knowing that you know people do it every day but I was nervous at first and once I got in the water it was fine. So now there was a surprise element to this right you didn't really yeah. know what was going to happen. Yeah, yeah I have no idea. I was trying to figure it out and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't figure it out once I get over there and they told us it was just excitement for everybody I think maybe except the lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just uh, switch gears back to tennis a little bit. It's been a long time since you played a match. Um, sure, yeah. You know, you've had spring break and no classes this week. Uh, you know, what do you, what have you all done as a team and you individually to just to maintain your, your sharpness competitively going into, you know, what should be a big weekend of conference matches? Well, I mean, we're always working hard, so that doesn't change. You know, we come out on the court with a match mentality every day and, and put in our work on and off the court doing conditioning. Um, the, the big thing that we've been focusing on that Kenny's been kind of pounding us with is just thinking about Palo Alto, getting out to California for the final 16, and that's been our motivation. When you have, you know, two weeks off, long stretch of time without a match, just kind of think about our goals, you know, where we want to be at the end of the season. And I think that's kept everybody on board and focused for bringing it back to this weekend and, and winning two ACC matches at home. So. What, uh, anything in your own game that you've tried to pay attention to over this last uh, little break here since the last match to, you know, to help yourself? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I had a tough match in Miami in singles. I, it was a little windy, a little uncomfortable on, on the courts, and uh, I've been focusing on stepping up, you know, making sure that I'm playing my game, being aggressive. I was a little passive in Miami, so, you know, we came out, did some individuals, made those corrections. I've been focusing on them in practice and ready to put them into my game this weekend. So. Been around the block a little bit, you know, on this team and seen the seen all these teams come through here, you know, uh, every year since you've been here. How familiar are you with the guys that you're going to see tomorrow and Sunday, and, and 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 you know, and how much does that enter into what you try to do on the court? Um, well, I'm pretty familiar with the with NC State and Wake now. Uh, I think their teams are pretty similar from the last couple of years, but. Um, our focus is more on more on us. You know, we know we have the games to beat whoever we play, and, and we're not going to worry about who we're playing as much as doing what we need to do.